Howdy y'all, and welcome back. It's just a couple days removed from our last video, but we've already seen two passes of tuning on tanks and had the opportunity to get some Mythic Plus testing in with them, so we figured we'd put out another quick update. We're inching closer to our goal of 1,000 subscribers and really appreciate all the support. On Wednesday, Warriors took yet another nerf, although this one was reasonably small. Revenge got hit for 5% and Thunderclap got hit for 10%. Shield Charge also got put on the GCD, but to be fair, I'm not really sure why I was ever off the GCD. It's a large AoE nuke that is also a 4 second stun. Yes, it's a quality of life nerf, but it's probably a fair one. Warriors aren't overly worried about this nerf, not a huge deal. Druids, on the other hand, finally got some love from Blizzard. Rage of the Sleeper, one of their previously incredibly underwhelming capstones, got some significant love. In addition to providing a 25% damage reduction, it now also provides 15% damage and 25% leech. It also had its cooldown reduced from 90 seconds to 60 seconds, and this makes it line up with every other incarn in AoE situations. Tooth and Claw also got a buff in that the mauls it empowers no longer cost any rage. And that brings us to a serious topic. Guardian players, listen close. Maul is good now. I know. I don't like it either. A lot of us feel this deep, ingrained hatred for one of the most boring spenders in the game. But Maul is good now. It slaps. You should be taking Tooth and Claw, and you should be using the Empowered Mauls. It does more damage than Thrash on up to like six targets. Press it. It's good. Alright, PSA over. Uh, Dream of Scenarius also got buffed, but who really cares? Um, overall, these buffs do help bring Druid up quite a bit. They're now probably about 15-ish percent behind the other tanks, but that's opposed to like 30 to 35 percent behind in damage. And that's a pretty huge buff, so this will definitely help a lot. Now that brings us to the set of buffs that kind of has me scratching my head a little bit. DK saw some serious DPS buffs. Death Strike gets 4%, Blood Boil and Heart Strike each get about 15%, Marrow Ren gets 20%, which means it goes back to beating out Death's Caress for building Bone Shield stacks in pretty much every case, and Shattering Bones and Blood Plague both get 10%. These buffs dramatically raise the floor of the damage the Blood DK was doing and players who weren't playing the spec correctly will now do slightly less garbage DPS. But when Blood was getting played correctly, it was already doing pretty damn good damage. Now Blood will probably move ahead of Warrior for overall damage and might even push Demon Hunter for the number 2 spot behind Brewmaster. Supposedly they nerfed the healing on Deathstrike to compensate for the buffs, but after playing it in Mythic Plus I don't know if I actually believe them. Blood players should probably avoid all eye contact with Blizzard employees for the next 3-4 to four weeks. Well. Right around the time I finished editing the first portion of this video, we found out about a couple more changes, mostly to Demon Hunter. Over here on the left is a long list of buffs to various Vengeance skills. Notably, Fiery Brand got a relatively large buff, meaning it'll make up slightly more of your damage now. But more important than all of those buffs is the significant nerf to Vulnerability, which is the damage amplification debuff tied to Frailty. The combination results in a decent nerf overall, about 5-6% to of your overall damage either in single target or AoE, and a bigger hit to you during your burst window. They did add a second to the duration of frailty, so that will make keeping it up slightly easier, though with good play this already wasn't overly difficult. Like Warriors, this was expected, and if this is the end of the tuning for Demon Hunters, they won't be too upset. Other than at Death Knights. Everyone is upset at Death Knights. Oh, and they nerfed Prot Warriors Execute again. Probably wait for the Sims to be sure, but it seems like Prot may just completely drop Execute from its rotation and just stick to Revenge. Just makes the spec even more new player friendly. That'll do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one.